Valentine, Spiky Valentine here, or rather my hand. It's DIY time. Sound good? Let's get started. We're going to turn some old t-shirts into tote bags in like five or ten minutes. These things are so easy to do because I'm fancy and I know karate. You know what I'm saying? Um, these t-shirt totes fit a lot of stuff, like a lot of stuff. Look at the magic. So we like that. And did I say you could put anything in here? Because you really can. Yes, this DIY is cat approved. And if it's cat approved, you know you gotta do it. I'm also going to show you how to make a nice crossbody bag with a flannel or a button down, which I thought was perfect for fall, something in that plaid variety. Without further ado, let's get going on this DIY. We're gonna start off with this simple fringe t-shirt tote, requires no sewing whatsoever, and just a couple of minutes. So you of course need a t-shirt to do this. You can use any kind that you want. We'll also do that one with the plaid. We're going to need a pair of scissors and later on some needle and thread for the more advanced one. Um, I'm starting off with this basic tee. This is something you could just grab that's laying around the house that you haven't been wearing for a while or do like me, go to Goodwill. I got this for one dollar, that dollar red tag special right there. All right, we're gonna start off by cutting off both of the sleeves. I'm cutting to the inside of the seam so that is discarded with the sleeve and now we are left with one of those sweaty man muscle tank tees, my favorite. All right, once we've cut the sleeves, we are going to cut the neckline off. The deeper you cut the neckline, the bigger the hole is for where you have the opening to put stuff in your bag. So keep that in mind. It's totally a preference call. And now this is what you should be looking at right here. And I'm going to trim off that bottom hemline there because we don't need it. It's just going to get in the way. And having a ruler handy or something that you could measure off would be great for this next part, I am trimming little fringy slits up from the bottom towards the center of the shirt. I'm making mine about seven inches long and about a half an inch wide. You can make them thicker if you like to. I wouldn't go too much thinner though because they might kind of fall apart. I'm doing this cutting both the front and the back of the shirt together and then I'm just going to take each of those sections of fringe and stretch them out. This kind of gives nice shape to the fringe and gets them a little bit longer if you like the longer fringe look. Now I'm going to take the top and bottom, the front and back of those fringe strips that we just cut and we're just going to tie them in a simple knots. Just one singular knot is good. You're going to do this all the way down the length of all of those fringe strips. This probably takes the most time about, I don't know, two minutes or so to get through this. Now once you tie these knots you're going to have little hole gaps at the bottom. If you want it completely sealed off at the bottom, what I'm going to do here is take the top strip of one and tie it to the bottom of the next section. So if we had like section one and then section two, I'm going to take the top of number one, tie it to the bottom of number two, and then I'm gonna take the top of number two and tie it to the bottom of number three. It may sound confusing, but I promise when you are doing this, it's all gonna make sense, honey. Don't worry, I got you, okay? I wouldn't leave you stranded and abandoned a promise and you're just gonna do this along the whole bottom of that uh, new little bag that we've created and you're done like didn't I tell you this was easy get out of here thank you and there we go we've got a nice t-shirt fringy perfect for fall tote bag use this for groceries or I don't know going out or casual things or for school or whatever you wear it over your shoulder if you so choose all right we're going to move on to the second slightly more advanced DIY as soon as I'm done modeling here. Okay, thank you, Spanky. All right, here we go. I'm um, taking a button-down shirt. You could do this with a dress shirt or a flannel, plaid shirt, tartan. Now, the thing about button-downs is, you guessed it, there are gaps between the buttons where stuff could fall out. So, we're going to have to sew that closed. So, just grab a needle and thread. This is not complicated sewing. This is legit the most basic simple you'll be done in a couple of minutes stitching we're just doing a simple stitch um, tying the the two sides of your shirt together along where the buttons are now I left a couple of buttons open to make the gap of the opening of the bag um, you know bigger 
again that's a preference thing now I'm going to turn the shirt inside out and I am going to do some stitching along the bottom I am literally just stitching across one of the plaid lines so that my stitching is you know somewhat straight there's what it looks like when we are all done and then I'm going to cut off the excess fabric because we are not going to need that because um, we are not creating a fringe bottom for this now I have turned the shirt right side out now you could cut off the sleeves if you like like we did in the first project but I decided I wanted to use these sleeves as little over-the-shoulder straps because I really like the way these sleeves looked with their cool little frosted buttons so I'm going to take one sleeve and place it just inside the other and button the other one around it and then I'm going to stitch those two together you could feasibly tie the sleeves together but I thought the knot would be too bulky so I decided to sew them together and boom there's the bottom of the new bagged shirt there is the top of the connected sleeve over the shoulder strap. Now you could fold the top of the shirt over the front to give it a cute fold over look, or you could fold your shirt after you've put stuff inside the bag to the back to hide it and show off the pockets and the buttons. And that's it for these DIYs. All right, I said last week's video that I'm giving away this Derma Ice Roller facial skincare device that you guys all wanted. And here's the winner right here. Congratulations to you. I will send you a private message on how you can grab that. If you like this video and learn something new give it a thumbs up please it helps me out so much make sure to subscribe to my channel to get all of the updates when I upload every single week and I will see you guys in the next video some mooches bye basically when I wake up in the morning I want to hide because I've got crazy eye puffiness and just puffiness all over my face like it's scary right but I figured out a few things to remedy this situation which I'm gonna tell you about because we fancy